everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this class. This is going to be a one hour practice. For everyone joining here on the stream, thanks so much for tuning in. If everyone, you're watching, I just want to say thanks for watching the ads. I know they can be annoying. If you want to watch commercial free, omstars.com, you can join and watch all these videos there. And otherwise, I just appreciate you. Get started on the yoga mat. So let's head on back to the mat and get a comfortable seated position. Right. Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to this one hour energizing yoga practice. Let's come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes, a long deep breath in. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Begin with a few moments of mindful awareness. Check in with the quality of your breath and notice how am I breathing right now? What is the pace of my natural breath? Deep or shallow, warm or cool, whatever it is, just check in. Then gently check in with the physical body. Notice how your body feels, whether tired or energized, whether anything you feel, whether warm or cool, however the body feels, just tune in. And lastly, check in with the quality of your mind and your emotions. Just checking in with how you feel, how's your thoughts and your emotions doing today. And then a long deep breath in and as you exhale, let's open the eyes and we'll just check in using those three anchors of mindfulness to really pull the mind into presence. What we're looking at in yoga practice is stimulating a flow of energy. That energy is your life force, sometimes called prana as well. So we're increasing our energy, also raising our vibration with the idea that as you practice, you're opening up pathways for new and more evolved thoughts and more conscious ways of being both in the body and in the world. So with that in mind, let's get started. Inhale, take your arms out to a T-shape, hold there with our some light joint mobilizations just to gently bring energy in the body. Hold this here, nice and easy. Long, deep breaths and spread your shoulders away from each other. And we'll do some shoulder rolls forward. So just keep pulling the shoulders. If you're comfortable activating your pelvic floor, now's a good time to activate the pelvic floor. And this little movement through the shoulders just helps bring blood and circulation through the joints and back to the center. Okay, let's go on back, 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 back. And we'll just keep rolling through the joints. Rolling back, drawing the navel in, nice and easy, stay with it, and back to a T-shape. Hold it there for a moment, and then exhale, let's drop the hands down. Shake that out for a moment, and then let's roll the shoulders. Give me a big shrug up and back. We'll do it three times. Big round, let's do one more. All the way up and around, and then switch directions. Up and around, again. Up and around, last one. Up and around. Stay there for a moment. Shake it out, nice and easy. Long deep breath in through the center line of the body, and then exhale. We're gonna twist over to the right, and notice the point where the twist seems to have a natural stopping point. Or you can feel the spine just reaching kind of a natural end point. So you can stop there without trying to lift the hips up off the ground. And then inhale back to the center. We're going to pop on over to the left now. So inhale, long, deep breath in. Exhale, easy, over to the left. Hold it there for a few breaths. Keep the energy moving through the body, bright and fluid. No judgment, just feeling where you are. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, stabilize there for a moment. Now, we're gonna come on back to tabletop position to prepare to come onto your hands and knees. So inhale up to tabletop. 
Hands shoulder width apart, knees hip width apart. Hold this for five breaths. One. Grip your fingertips. Two. Nice and easy. Three. Feel the breath, feel the body. Four. And five. Now we're going to retract and protract the shoulders. Exhale, down and forward. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, down and a little forward. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, down and a little forward. Inhale, back and up. Do two more. Down and a little forward. Inhale, back and up. Last one. Down and a little forward. Inhale, back and up. Draw the knees in. Exhale, child's pose. Rest for a few breaths. And give your wrists a chance to relax. Long breath in, long breath out. Good. Inhale, come on back to your tabletop position. Open the knees. Let them be about hips width apart. And now we'll roll through cat and cow. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round. Let's go under. Inhale, extend the spine. So we'll roll through each joint of the spine. Exhale, round and under. Two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Tuck the chin. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Hold it under for a moment, and then draw the knees in, and again, exhale back to child's pose. This time, fold your shoulders forward and down, as we now give the shoulders a little bit of a break. And again, just return here with your breath. Keep it nice and easy, no fight, no force. Just the breath, just the body. Stay present with it. Then inhale back to tabletop position. Curl your toes under this time, and we're going to come up to downward facing dog. So press it up through the shoulders, widen the shoulders. Inhale, come on up to downward facing dog. And let's stay here for a moment. Maybe you want to just walk your legs out so you can feel the connection through the heels or bend the knees so you can feel the connection through the hip joints. And then inhale, straighten the legs. And we'll just settle in for about five breaths. One, two, nice and easy, draw the navel more and more in, three, four, push the gaze forward, sink your knees down, back to tabletop for a moment. Let's now build up to a plank pose. So widen your shoulders, tuck your tailbone a little bit. Activating the muscles of your pelvic floor. And let's step one leg back. Make sure the tailbone is tucked under. Get you both legs back and feet together. Get a nice perky plank. So you can almost feel like your body lifts itself from underneath. Grip your fingertips. We'll stay fast. One. Two. Nice and easy. Three. A little forward with the shoulders. Four. Almost there. Five. Open the knees. Sink them down. And then pitch your shoulders forward. Let's bend the elbows and bring the chest forward for the Mahai Chaturanga. And then all the way down and down. Point your feet. Come on up to Cobra Pose. Elbows in front of the shoulders. Inhale. Long, deep breath in. Stay there with your breath. Gaze down the bridge of the nose. One. Deep breaths. Two, nice and easy, lifting the spine up out of the pelvis, three, stay with it, deep breaths, four, nice and easy, no fight, no force, stay with it, five, okay, now let's work on upward face dogs, so you're going to open your point, then walk the hands back, so the hands are where the elbows were, draw the elbows in, and then let the spine up out of the pelvis. Stay there for a moment, soft back. You can just gaze forward as you keep the work in the spine. Then we'll roll over the toes and lift the hips back and up to downward facing dog. Walk the feet in so their hips width apart. We'll stay breathing. Two, 
So inhale, step your right foot forward. You're going to plant the left knee on the ground. Slide your right elbow in and both elbows towards the ground. You can point the left foot if you want and just sink into it for a few breaths. We'll stay here breathing. One, two, and just explore how much of down your chest wants to go. Three, nice and easy. Four, stay with it. Keep breathing, almost there. Five, inhale, walk it all the way up. Take your right hand on the outside, squaring the pelvis for a moment. Then we're gonna twist it out. Take the left hand on the ground, hold on to the right knee, and then exhale, twist your lung. Gaze back to the left foot, and we'll stay five breaths. One, two, remember this is elongate that left psoas region. The front of the left hip. You're holding onto the knee to make sure it's not splaying too much out to the side. So you just try to keep it relatively in line with the foot. Four. Keep working. Five. Are you ready? Now we try something else. You're going to bend the knee, reach back, and then just let that lengthen a little bit more your quadricep, rolling that right shoulder forward, and we'll stay here again. Five more breaths. One. Two, watch your knee, make sure it's not going much out. Three, steady breathing. If you can't reach your foot, you can just extend your arm back towards the foot. Four, almost there. Five, inhale, come on back up. Don't come out yet, just come up. Press into your right leg. Inhale, come up with your chest. Hands in prayer. Stay here for a couple breaths. Nice and easy, feel your left psoas, feel it working. And fold your torso around the right thigh. Hands in prayer. Curl the left toes under and inhale. Come up. One. Steady breaths. Two. Three. Nice and easy. Don't give up. Four. If you fall out, it's okay. Have fun with it. Stay with it. Five. Exhale. Take your hands down. Come onto your fingertips. Straighten the right leg and reach the left leg back. Okay, your right leg's working really strongly. Let's walk those hands forward. Stay here, so now we're in Digasana, sometimes called Warrior Three. Stay here for a moment, and then if it's comfortable for you, let's lift up. One, two, work that right leg. Three, open the arms. Four, sometimes you call some these the flyers. So you can feel like you're flying for a moment. Five, exhale, let's take the hands down. Okay, back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Long, deep breath in as you just settle in. Let's prepare for the other side. Inhale, step the left foot forward. We start off in lizard lunge. Exhale, drop the right hip. Give me both elbows on the ground. And then just settle down. Just explore the depth that your body allows you. Let's take about five breaths. One. Don't force it. Just feel where your body lets you go down to. Two. Feel your breath in your body. Three. Nice and easy. Just what your body gives you, just receive that. Or don't take anything. Just receive what your body gives you. Five. Inhale, come on up. Take that right hand down. And we're going to twist it out now. So you come a little bit up. Hold on to the left knee and twist it back. And remember, you're tracking the left knee so it doesn't go too much out to the side. Just really let your right psoas release. Enough pressure into your right hand to give you enough length and support. Two. Three. Nice and easy. Close the eyes for a moment. Four. Almost there. Five. All right, let's bend the knee. Reach back. Slide with that shoulder forward. And then we'll stay pressing back with your right foot just a little bit. One. So this is pretty active. Two, breathe, three, feel what you feel, don't force, four, almost there, five. Inhale, come on back to the center. Exhale, take the hands down. You can scoot the left foot in just a little bit, coming up onto your fingertips. 
They all come up. Give me hands in prayer for a moment. Long, deep breath in, creating space through the front body. Exhale, take the left hand to the left thigh. Now we twist over, out to the side, hands in prayer. Twisted version of extended side angle pose. You just twist around if it feels comfortable for you. You're going to pick your back leg up off the ground. We'll take five breaths. One. Stay with it. The navel is in. Two. Constantly remind yourself, belly inside. Three, four, to the center, Squirt. walk your hands forward, warrior three. Stay in your breathing, nice and easy. If it's comfortable for you, you're gonna come up. Hands in prayer. One, three, nice and easy, four. Hands back to prayer, five. Exhale, let's take the hands down. Step on back to plank pose. Exhale, turn around back. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. How you doing? Doing all right? Take that moment, feel the breath, feel the body. Keep it working. Now we'll work the three-legged dog. Point the right foot. Inhale, keeping the pelvis square. Reach back and up. Five breaths. One. Two. Nice and easy. Three. Four. Then open the pelvis and give yourself a little side bend. So just twist it out a little bit. Nice and easy. Doing great just like that. Don't hit it too hard. Just let the body do what it does. And inhale back to the center. Exhale back to downward facing. Let's try the other side. Point the left toes. Inhale, lift. Squaring the pelvis at first, really pressing into your right leg. Stay for about five breaths. One, two, three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. Five. Spiral through. Reach it around. Twist it out. So twist out that three-legged dog through the shoulder, opening up the pelvis, reaching through the right inner thigh, and then inhale back to the center. Exhale, come on down. Back to plank. Give me plank again. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, come on back to plank. Now, from plank, side plank. Easy version of right knee down, press into the right arm, and inhale, lift the left arm. You can decide if you want to take this up a notch, up to you. One, two, if you want to take it up a notch, you can try stacking both your legs. Three, four, from here, we're going to go to wild thing, so step your left leg back, straighten the right leg if it's down, inhale, reach. One, doesn't have to be super deep, just reach, three, four, nice and easy, five, inhale, back to the center, you can drop the pelvis, come on, back to play, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, let's go for the other side, so remember, easy version of side plank, take the left knee down, take the right arm up. This is comfortable for you. You don't want to go any further. No problem. Just stay there. One. Two. Keep working. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Now's the time if you want to give it a shot so we get that good transition into wild thing to so come on up. And five. Step your right leg back and inhale. Reach. One, two, just reach, gaze towards the right hand, three, nice and easy, four, five, sink the hip down, and then inhale, come on back to plank, exhale, chaturanga, come on down, inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in, exhale, downward facing, what do you say to do in Katasana? Who doesn't love a little chair pose? 
Inhale, step forward. Squeeze your knees together. Give me a big squeeze of your knees together. In, in, in. Wait for the thighs to burn. Light them on fire. Inhale, lift your chest up. Hands in prayer. Hold it. One, you gotta work that energy. Belly inside. Two, deep breathing. Reach up from the pelvis. Four, nice, easy breaths. Keep with it. Knees towards each other. Five, exhale, take your hands down. Okay, back to plank. In the plank, bend your elbows. Come on down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Now we're gonna to transition to seated. Press into your shoulders, cross your feet, and exhale, straighten your legs. Dandasana position. Hands next to the hips, chin is down. Five breaths. One, regulate the breath. Two, through your body. Four. And five. Let's open the toes. Reach forward. Hold the shins. Hold your big toes. Good job. Inhale. Straight the arms. Exhale. Fold. Steady breaths. One. Two. Steady breathing. Take a moment. Wiggle around. In the joints. Get comfortable here, as comfortable as possible. Four. Nice and easy. Stay with it. Keep breathing. Five. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale. From wherever you are, just deepen your Paschimottanasana a little bit. So turn your shins. Just walk a little forward. If you get your toes, you can hold your feet. If you hold your feet, hold the fingers. Inhale, long, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Stay for another five breaths. One. Wherever you hold is comfortable for you. Pulling feet, staying with the toes up to you. Two. Three. Take a breath. Four. Almost there. Five. Inhale, let's lift the head up. Exhale there. Walk your hands back. Soften through the shoulders for a moment. Let's grab your yoga blocks. And now we'll do a little bit of lift up work. So take your blocks next to the thighs and we're going to work the L sit. All right? We're going to do it three times. Make sure the blocks are forward of your pelvis. I'm going to pitch the shoulders forward. Inhale, hips back and up. One, two, three. Nice and easy. Four, five, and set it down. All right, and try it again. And this time, if your feet come off the ground, that's okay. You want to try to really fold your body in. Chest is close to the thighs. Your thighs super strong. All righty, here we go. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hips back and up. One, two, three. Almost there, four, five. Come on down. Bend your knees for a moment. And just stay there, feel it out. We can do one more time. A little set of three. Always good to work the energy in the body. Okie dokie. Hips back and up. Here we go for the L sit. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, come on down. Good job. Okay, let's move your blocks. On over to the side for now. Cross your feet underneath you. Take the hands forward. Let's step on back to plank. Find your plank. Bend your elbows. Come on down. Inhale, upward facing. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, we're going to come back to seated again. Cross your feet. Exhale, sink your hips down. Straighten the legs out. Marty Chasana A. Bend your right knee. Bring, bring it in. Hold on to the shin bone for a moment. Settle both your sitting bones down to start. Long deep breath in. 
Draw the navel in, long, deep breath out. Take your hand, left hand on the ground. Then fold your torso around the inside edge of your right thigh. Inhale, lift your right sitting bone off the ground and just gently pivot forward. Then exhale, both hands down. Watch the knee, make sure the knee does not splay outside, but keep it in. If it's comfortable for you, you can bind your hands behind the back. But if not, you just keep the hands forward. You could even keep holding on to the knee. Find the place to work. We stay for five breaths. Doing good, just like that. One. Two. Find where you work. Three. Gonna lift that right sitting bone a little off the ground. Four. Stay with it. Don't force it. Just feel it. Nice and easy. Relax neck. Steady breaths. So for one more breath. And five. Inhale slowly. Straight the arms. Come up. We're going to try something a little fun. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Fold the right knee back. And then point the right toe forward. You're going to slide your right shoulder under the right calf muscle. This posture is called the elephant trunk pose because you're making your legs like an elephant trunk. So you're going to hold that right knee up on the shoulder, pressing the right shoulder back. Be very conscious of your collarbone and try not to compensate for any lack of flexibility by destabilizing the collarbone. Now this is actually only to prepare for the posture, so this is kind of hard. Just like in the L sit, you're going to send your hips back and up. So let's give it a shot. Whatever you get, so you're going to hold it for five breaths. Shoulders forward and hips back and up. One, two, stay, three, and just try, just try. If you're on the ground, you lean forward like this, or both feet off the ground. Five. Exhale. Come on down. Oh, good job. Drop the right knee. Hug it in. Thank your body. Cross your feet. Inhale. Roll over the shins. Come on back to plank. Exhale. Bend your elbows. Go down. Inhale. Upward facing. Take a moment in upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. Good job. Okay. Come on forward. Inhale again. Back to seated. We're going to do the other side. So gently sit down, straighten the legs, and then bend your left knee. Long, deep breath in, start off hugging the knee. You're both sitting bones planted on the ground, the navel is in. Steady breaths. And then your right hand comes to the ground, and then exhale, start to fold your chest forward. As you fold the chest forward, let the chest gently slide towards the inside of your left thigh. Maybe you bring your both hands down. Maybe you reach around, bind the hands. Find what works for you. And just stay there. But the idea is to bend as much forward as possible. One. Find what works. If it's better up like this, no problem. There's no competition in yoga. There's nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just sit here and breathe. If you're feeling and breathing, hey, yoga's working. Two. We got three more breaths. So really enjoy it. Gaze at the right toes. Look at the toes. Four. The energy cycling through the body from the feet to the pelvis, through the spine, through the top of the head. Four. Feel the energy fields of the body working the prana, the vital life essence. Five. Good job. Inhale. Let's come on up and exhale. We point the foot. And then remember, elephant trunk on the left side. You're going to hold the left knee up into the body. Reach the left shoulder forward, grabbing the left calf muscle. Place it on your shoulder. And then open the hip back. Open the elbow back. Spread the left collarbone. So you can really feel length in the left collarbone. And then hands on the ground. Stabilize your shoulders. All right? Stabilize the shoulders. Stabilize the core of the body, so it means squeeze your abdominals. And then inhale, hips back and up. One, two, stay with it. Three, don't you give up, just try. Four, put the foot down, just get the hip up. Five, exhale, come on down. All right, sing that left knee down. Thank the left side, you're good. Thank yourself, all right, good job. It's not over yet. <laughs> so let's bend your right knee. 
And let's just work a seated squat for a moment. So bring your knees together and just hug it in. Hug the body in. A nice little hug and welcome the chin to the shin. Eyes closed. Neck is stretching. Long deep breaths. And then inhale, slip the head up. Open the feet. We're going to roll through the hip joints. Getting a little flexibility and a little strength through the hips. Easy way, you're going to take one hand forward, one hand behind you, and just push yourself forward as you come up. Now, you're going to try without the support of your hand. Exhale, sink the hips down. Three more times. Inhale, roll through the hip joints. Come up. Exhale, roll through the hip joints. Go down. Inhale, roll through the hip joints. Come up. Two more. Exhale, go down. Inhale, up. Last one. Exhale, go down. We're going to get back up. Inhale, come up, stay up. Then, hands in prayer, drop the head down. One. Avoid splaying too much out to the side with your knees. We'll stay in the yoga squat. Try to slide your torso between the thighs. Two. Three. Stay with it. Don't give up. Four. Almost there. Five. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale there. Squeeze the knees in a little, and you can sink the knees onto the backs of the triceps. You can squeeze the knees onto the outsides of the triceps. Find what works for your body. We go now for a bakasana position, the crow pose or crane pose. Crow pose, the elbows are bent a little. Crane pose, the elbows are more straight. All right? Two different birds, the birds, arm balances. All is good. So now, pitch your shoulders forward. And you can choose to stay here with your toes on the ground or one foot and the other foot off the ground. Five breaths. One. A. Two. If you want, you get right back up. Three. Use your lower abdominal muscles. Four. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't go back yet. Don't go up. Stay. Almost there. All right. You ready? We're going to try to jump back. Back to play. <laughs> Try, good job, hold your plank. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Let's sink the knees down, grab your yoga blocks, let's set them up. And they want to be about shoulder width apart. We're going to do some core strengthening by bringing the knees into the chest with the support of blocks. So we're going to work plank a little bit from here, a little extra height. Step one leg back, step the other leg back, come up. One, stay plank again. Two, I'll make it as fast as possible. <laughs> Three, four, and five. All right, right knee into the chest. One, two, three, four, Step it back. Left knee. One, two, three. Step it back. Right knee outside. One, two, three. Step it back. Left knee. One, two, three. Stay with it. Four, five. Step it back. Right knee. Swing it over. Twist. One, two, three, four. And five, last side, twist, one, two, three, don't give up, four, five, plank, charanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, slide on forward, let's move the blocks back just a little bit, now, let's work another lift up, you feeling that inner heat, that fire coming to the body? Again, we're looking at prana, that vital life energy, rolling through the body. Let's turn the blocks this way, just for a little extra height. We work now in low loss in a position, which is hard. Low loss in is just hard. So do the best that you can. Curl your toes under, and let's stay there with the toes curled under for a moment. Work the ankles, work the connection from the feet, to the knees, squeeze the knees a little in, then sink back through the hip joints. Okay, we prepare. Low loss in the position. Shoulders forward, come up onto the toes. One, stay here. Two, three, stay four, 
Maybe five. Now come up. One, two, three, four, say five. Come on down. Okay. Move your blocks over to the side for a moment. And then inhale back to plank. Find your plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. Stay downward facing for a moment. We're going to do the twisted dog. Drop the right knee into the chest and then exhale. Both hips over to the right. So you just kind of swing over to the right, shortening the right side body and lengthening the left side body. Point both toes over to the left. Stay. Inhale back to the center. Exhale there. Other side. As you exhale, hold the left knee. And then inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, twist both knees and feet over to the side. Shortening the left side body and lengthening the right side body. One, two, nice and easy. Three, table in, four, five. Inhale, come on back to the center. Exhale there, long deep breath. And exhale, let's take the knees down. Puppy pose, take your hands forward, we release the shoulders a little bit. Exhale, top of the head down. Soften, soften, come on to your fingertips. One. Two. If it's comfortable for you and you wanna put your chest on the ground, go ahead and change. Three. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, sink the hips back down. Cobra pose again, five breaths. One, deep breathing, point the toes. Two, three, stay with it, keep breathing. Four, five, walk your hands back onto the fingertips, a little high cobra. Elbows in, chest up. One, if it feels better with the hands flat, you can do that too. Even straightening the arms, make sure your back has space. Three, navel is in. Four, almost there. How are you doing? Keep lifting the chest up. All right, we're gonna add a very subtle twist. Inhale, lift the center of the chest. Exhale, just look a little to the right. Since we just look almost down on the outside of the right shoulder. You lift a little up and to the right. Inhale back to the center. Lift. Exhale. Just gentle gaze to the outside of the left shoulder. Keep the glutes soft. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Exhale. Come on down. Relax for a moment. Then inhale. Lift the center of the chest. Come on to the elbows. Scoop comfortably down on the belly. We'll use cobra as a prep now for Dhanurasana, the bow pose, bend the knees. Lift the center of the chest up and use your back bend and reach back, hold the ankles. After you hold the ankles, then kick the legs back. Stay for five. One. Try to keep the knees and the feet together. Two. Three. Just keep working. That's it. Just try. Four. Nice and easy. Almost there, don't give up, don't give up. Hold it, your thighs are burning, don't go, don't give up, don't go down, stay. Five, okay, let's come on down. And inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, let's sink the knees down. And just slowly come up to a kneeling position. And inhale, all the way up. All right, now we're gonna work in Strasana position. You can use your yoga blocks. If you want to make the posture a little more accessible, then you can have the blocks lined up where your feet are. We'll try for that one first. Close to the feet, that's good. All right, now lift the center of the chest up. You're feeling that inner heat, let's put it to work back bending. Lift and lift and lift and interlock your fingers and push the pelvis forward and chest up. One, 
Two, keep lifting up out of the sacrum. Three. Four. Almost there. Five. Open your fingers. Find the blocks. Roll the shoulders forward. Head back. Two months with the head back. Then just head forward. Stay for a couple of breaths. Two. If you don't need the blocks, then you can take the hands onto the feet. So you can try that by resting the heels of the hands on the heels of the feet. Figure out what's comfortable for you. One. Try to push the pelvis forward. Two. Three. Belly inside. Breathe into the chest. Four. Nice and easy. When it's time to come up, you're going to lead your hips first. Okay? We'll slide up onto your fingertips. Hips, then ribs, then the head. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let's draw the knees in. Child's pose, tuck your tailbone a little bit. Let's come on down, head down. Deep breaths here. One, squeeze those knees in. Two, nice and easy. Three, steady breaths. Four, nice and easy. Five, inhale, slowly come up. Let's walk your hands forward. Then come on back to plank. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, let's bend the elbows. Come on down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, let's come down and try dolphin pose. So exhale, your elbows down. And then walking the elbows back or the hands forward. We'll stay here in dolphin. And drop the head down to elongate the neck. Elbows stay shoulder width apart. Wrap the elbows towards each other by spreading the shoulders apart. We'll stay, just breathing, feeling. And then make your dolphin a little more hard and a little more engaged by pitching your shoulders a little forward and coming up onto the toes. One, two, three, nice and easy, four, and five. Step it back. Let's do one more time. Relax your dolphin for a moment. Then inhale. Shoulders forward and onto the toes. One. Two. Three. Four. Almost there. Five. Come on down. All right. Let's point the knees down. Child's pose again. Rest. Catch your breath for a moment. Nice and easy. Steady breathing. Inhale, lift the head up. Take the elbows back down. We're going to work sheer shots in a position or headstand. All right. So if you're comfortable, headstand is super easy for you. Feel welcome to do a pinch of my asana or the forearm balance, but really headstand is a wonderful asana. Headstand is difficult for you. You can either repeat dolphin or you can just hold the prepare. You can even use a wall for support if you're familiar with that. Let's check the distance. Elbows, shoulder width apart, interlock your fingers, open the palms so that the back of the head rests in the palms, top of the head down. Top of the head down, stand the legs up, then from here, walk in. Make sure you keep your elbows on the ground. If the elbows come off the ground, you went too far. Right? So push the elbows into the ground. Then one leg up, inhale the other leg up. If you get the leg up, just stay with one leg up. Balance here with the knees into the chest, drawing the navel in, point the toes. From here, if it's comfortable for you, inhale, share shasana position. Make sure that you really press into the elbows. Stay for five breaths. One, two, navel is in, three, Stay, keep breathing. Four, you could squeeze your glutes a little bit if you're having a hard time controlling the lower back. Four. Five, okay, let's fold the knees in and drop the feet down. And again, exhale, child's pose. Top of the head down, fully relax the shoulders. Take your breaths.
of the breath of the body. And slowly take the hands forward. We're going to go for a wide child's pose. Inhale, lift the head up, open the knees, and then exhale, sink your chest towards the ground. One, two, bend your breathing. Three. Four, almost there. Five, inhale, let's lift the head up. Exhale there. Come on back to your table position. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale again. Now, inhale back to plank. Up to plank. Here we go. Bend your elbows. Come on down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Bend the knees, cross your feet, so let's come on back to seated. We're not done. Point your toes, inhale, Navasana. One, saving the best for last. Two, stay with it. Three, keep working, don't give up. Four, nice and easy. Five, cross your feet, hands down. Inhale, hips back and up. Exhale, down. Let's grab those handy little yoga blocks, which are over here. They're going to help us out in Navasana. All right. So, point the feet off the ground. Up. One. Two. Stay with it. Navel in. Three. Just try. Don't go down. Four. Doing good. Just like that. Doing good. Stay with it. Five. Cross your feet. Inhale, hips back and up. Exhale, down. Now, again, Dhammasana. One, stay with it, maybe straight legs. Two, three, four, almost there. Five, cross your feet, inhale, hips back and up, maybe take it up. Exhale down, two more, Navasana. One, find which version of Navasana works for you. Two, three, stay, four, Almost there, five, cross your feet, inhale, pick it up, up, exhale, put it down, last one, don't give up now, one, two, don't give up, three, your navel is in, four, don't give up, stay with it, almost there, don't give up, don't give up, stay, five, cross your feet, inhale, pick it up, up, exhale, set it down, move your blocks over to the side, Stay in a cross leg position, nice and easy for a moment. Open the palms, tips of the index fingers together, five deep breaths. One, lengthen the spine. Start to tune in to the subtle flow of energy. Three.
five. Inhale, let's lift the head up. All the way back up. Exhale there. Cross your feet. Inhale, back to plank. Find your plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's sink the knees down and exhale, lie down. All the way down. Roll the spine gently down. Constructive rest position for a moment. And feel your breath in your body. Feel the mind slowly cycling down. Draw the knees up into the chest. A little squeeze. Take your hands on the ground. Be free to karate. Point the toes and just let the blood and circulation filter through your feet, through the ankles, through the shins through the knees and thighs, into the body. Steady breath. Start to really just dial the nervous system down after all that hard work. Feel the tingly inner vibration. Steady breath. Quiet and calm. Open the eyes a little, and now let's softly open the legs and just extend for the reclining straddle. Just stay there for a few breaths. Dive in your lungs to the outsides of the thighs. Just let all the tension in the inner thighs release. Just hold for a few breaths. Not too long. I know this is intense. Just let your nervous system accept, surrender, relax, release. Slowly point the toes. Okay, that was good. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, bend your knees. Press them on the ground. Open the arms and the legs. And then exhale, let's lie all the way down. Keep your attention at the heart center. Feel your breath cycling in. Breath. Cycling out, breath moving in, breath moving out. Tuning into the heart space, just notice the presence the energy at the level of the heart that seems to be almost a fountain that gives energy to the whole body. Slowly from the heart space along the heaven. And as you exhale, start moving your hands and feet, your fingers and toes, and giving a big inhale through the top of the head, a little wiggle, and then as you exhale, knees into the chest. A little squeeze, a little roll from side to side, all the way over onto your side. And then inhale, come on back up, all the way up. Eyes closed for a moment, attention at the heart center, planting the seeds of metta. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May all beings share in my peace, my happiness, my love. May all beings, including myself, all the human beings, all the animals, all the creatures and critters, all the beings of the spirit, beings and bodies, all the countless limitless beings, plants, planets, animals, humans, spirits, all beings in the whole universe. 
May all beings live in harmony, in peace and in love. Hands in prayer at the level of the heart. A long deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. May we be happy, may we be peaceful, may we be filled with love. Thanks so much for joining me on this practice. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for the practice. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you feel a little energized from today's practice. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye.